welcome, welcome you to welcome back. You see where we at here at the Dublin Winery. Some say Dublin, some say Duplin Winery here in North Myrtle Beach. Uh, yeah, yes, you see who it is. Say hello. Hi. Yes, that is Tijuana. Tijuana. It's time to go drink some wine, fellas. Give y'all a little review of this place. Go ahead, babe. I'm walking around right quick of Duplin's Winery up here in North Myrtle Beach. Uh, some of y'all have been here before. Uh, this is my first time actually being here. Uh, another thing, like I said, we're coming in. They open at 11. Uh, pretty cool place. Uh, it's copyrighted. Copyrighted music. That is not my music. Copyrighted. Uh, it has a beautiful scenery, as y'all can see. Uh, for those that don't know where this place is in North Myrtle, it's up near Barefoot Landing. Barefoot Landing in North Myrtle Beach. Of course, you know there's the House of Blues and a little shopping center over there. Um, if you're coming from South Myrtle, you come straight up 17, all the way up 17. You'll run into Barefoot Landing on the left-hand side, House of Blues. Also, some more little scenery area. Yeah, that's right, guys. Y'all see that? What that is? Only, 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 only fishermen knows what that is right there. That little canal. Yeah, I see it right there. I see some. Some fish going on mm -hmm. right there. <laughs> so yeah. So of course y'all already know what that is for my fishermen guys. Uh <laughs> Wayne Fab. Y'all already know up here in North Myrtle. That is where we stay, fellas. Um for the fishing trip over on that section. Y'all know that area. That's that's actually where we stayed at. The last fishing trip over here. You see these beach houses right here? That's where we stayed at last year. That is actually so see this house straight ahead? Yeah. There's a little yellow one. The blue one right beside it, that's where we stayed. Who's in that house? That's right, the guy's fishing trip. Uh, that that will be posted um, this year. Uh, we will. I will do a live video on that too. Uh, give y'all guys some uh, ideas and, and clues of what we do on the fishing trip and stuff like that, just for the guys only. Uh, it's no kids, no women allowed on that trip. And the reason is, is that it's for the guys, you know, just for us to get away, drink, have a good time, and fish, man. Um, that's pretty much what it is. But back to here at the Duplin Winery. Uh, Duplin or Duplin. I guess us Southern say Duplin. I guess the others say Duplin. Uh, however you want to say it, that's up to you. Uh, but, yeah, me and Tawana will be checking this out. It has a tour, which we'll be doing also. I'll give you guys live footage on that also. But yeah, it's time to go check this place out. Make sure y'all comment. For those of y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all hit that red button, that subscribe button. Comment below. Give me your feedback. Let me know. And y'all tell me what y'all think about Tawana doing videos. Uh, I'm going to try to get her into doing some videos for us and stuff. Uh, she will be posting a video of the Southern Women's Show. Um, that and some more stuff. Uh, We'll be working on her YouTube page also. Yeah, she's gonna start a YouTube page. But, like I say, we are here, and I'm gonna give y'all more footage once they let us in on the inside. Um, like I say, you do have to be a certain age limit here at the, up here, to drink, cause you are drinking. Uh, that place right there, we did that yesterday. I should've did a live video on it. Uh, the Simpsons 40 if y'all haven't did that yet but um it was yeah it was real cool for all kids I'm gonna tell you that it was nice um especially if you've never been to a 40 it's new it's at Broadway at the beach also um but this is the other area I was telling you guys about where this place is located to your right over there you have um House of Blues uh that's pretty much Barefoot Landing over there to the right side there's the dick so if you see the dick right there if you see the dicks i'm gonna zoom in for you all right so you see the dicks on your way up 17 if you're coming up 17 dicks is on your left hand side and you will see this place on your left um but yeah so make sure y'all come check this place out man it, i mean this looks nice man and every time we come past we ride past it i always said i want to check it out i want to check it out i want to check it out uh, let me get out some more. I don't know if y'all can see it with the sun in your face or not, but I hope not. Um, but yeah, make sure y'all check this place out. 
and across the street there's the Olive Garden. Uh, you have your bargain, your bargain max. This is the turn if you're coming up 17. If you're coming up 17, there's a left. So it's gonna tell you to go all the way up to the red light and do a U-turn. You don't have to. If you're okay, if you're a good driver, you can make that left-hand turn right here. Just pretty much wait till the traffic go through and then make that left-hand turn right at the Olive Garden and then turn right in. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give y'all more footage on the tour and also the inside of the place. So y'all stay tuned. So this is the inside for those that haven't been. This is one when you first come in to the left or the right. Then you have these. real nice y'all I mean this is real nice for those that haven't been like I said this is my first time in here um, She's been here now, but this is my first time in here. Let me get a little zip zip, as Pop say, a little, a little, a little tippy taste. Um, they do have souvenirs and all that. Um, let's see what else. Once again, this music is copyrighted. I do not own the rights to this music. Um, I guess you could say this the video will be kids friendly. It's not really, you know, kid adult appropriate. But like I say, it is, it is that an alcohol beverage. So um, it's a nice building. Drinky drinks. Right. We'll be back. Hey, so we are back. We are back. Let's see what we got. Got some peanuts. is Duplin so they say Duplin down here uh, oh, can't wait they do have bathrooms men and women bathrooms so uh, what you got bro they have the jams grape jellies okay <laughs> So let's see what they got over here. The crackers. You can try that. I can try. I smell jalapeno. Yeah. Which one is jalapeno? Mm -hmm. Which one is jalapeno? I don't know. That's I smell it. It's right here. That's your jalapeno. Oh, what's that? Mm -hmm. Barbecue. I'll try the orange poppy. It's right here. Mm -hmm. Right here. I can try. Here is good. If I ever had some of this, this is good. Yeah, we tried that one. Remember? At Boardwalk at the Beach? 
That's what I'm gonna try right here. I'm gonna try some red. Oh, look at the designs. I think the designs are cute. Sick whips. They got a lot of stuff in there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you have your jellies, souvenir shops, and everything. Um, there's a little uh, things you see. A lot of shops. And then they have an area in here also for tasting and all. Lots of souvenir shops. And they also they have one on the other side too. Mine's on both sides. They have what are we doing today? All right, how about yourself? They have one there. They have a section in there also where you can go and taste wines also. They so they're everywhere. And this is so you have them everywhere. Sweet, easy, sweet, cool. There's your sweet wines. Like I said, everything is labeled good. Easy, sweet wines, cool wines. Um. All right, so I guess we're ready. Um, your purchases, your checkouts. Uh, so yeah, so I'll be right back. So we're back. We have to turn in our whole thing that's for the vibrate, and that's for the, um, I guess, the tasting or whatever. Also, they have soaps and all kind of stuff. So. Uh, come on, Jason, where are you? <laughs> so, like I say, they do have, they have things over there. Who's never been here? Who's never had any of our wines? Who doesn't like sweet wine? <laughs> you don't care for sweet wine? No. If you hate sweet wine, just don't prefer it. I don't prefer it. I can work with that. Okay. All right. <laughs> Anybody else? You don't care for sweet uh, sweet wine? Now, do you hate sweet wine? Or you no, just, I just don't care for it. You just don't care for it. I can work with you too. Anybody else? <laughs> perfect, perfect. See, this is a Muscadine winery. Duplin Winery is a Muscadine winery. What that means is almost everything's got Muscadine grapes in it. And for those of you that may not know, Muscadine grapes are insanely sweet. They are over the top sweet. Most of our wines are going to be sweet. That being the case, we do have two categories. We have uh, sweet and then sweeter. <laughs> and we're going to be sampling some from each of those categories. We actually do have four dry wines, four dry ones. Two of them are on our tasting sheet today, so we are going to taste two dry wines. We have a total of four, and you're welcome to taste the other two or anything else you'd like to taste out the satellite bar. We just ask that you wait till the line dies down because sometimes during the course of today there'll be a line out there. All right. So if you wait, just wait to the side until the line dies down, then you'll be happy, happy to help you with some tastes of different things. All right, perfect. So we're gonna taste a total of 
of uh, 10 things today. There's 10 things on the tasting sheet. And you've got a copy of that tasting sheet in your book. The book, the book has lots and lots of things in it. In fact, it's got almost everything that we make in it, almost all of our products. The reason we give you the book is so you can uh, have access to all those different products. You get a look at everything we've got because we are only going to taste 10 things. So we have more than 40 wines on the sales floor, more than 40 different wines. Now, that being the case, that means there's a whole lot of things you're not tasting with us today, right? Because if we let you taste all 40 wines, Uber would have to be in this right lane over here all day long, and that isn't happening. So, only going to taste 10, but I think you'll enjoy it, all right? Perfect. Now, um, in that book, you'll see the way the book is laid out. The wines are pictured in the center. They're listed down the two sides right in the listing. It, right under the name, there's a little brief description of what it tastes like. There's also two prices on everything. Now you might wonder why that's the case. Well, the one price, the black ink price, that's the full price of the product. The red ink price, that's the club members discounted price. So the club members get to enjoy a 25% discount on the wines. 25% <clears throat> discount. Now that's ordinarily today is day two of our Valentine's Day sale. And in the case of all the reds and all the blushes, it's 35% off for club members today. Who's a club member in here? There we go, we got some club members there. Thank you guys for being club members and coming back to see us, we appreciate it. Now we got other things going on today too. We're gonna to have music out on the patio. I believe Duster is scheduled to be here today. So around two o'clock, he'll be all ready to go and he'll go on till five, we close at six tonight. Anyway, um, so this tasting sheet that we're gonna to follow today, like I said, it's got 10 things on it. It's got, uh, it's got six on the one side and there's four more on the other side. We're starting on a side with six things and we're gonna work our way right through that list, all right? So there you go. We're going to start with Carlos. And in this tasting sheet, you're going to see that right next to every one of the items is a five bubble scoring system. The idea is for you to keep track of what you liked and what you didn't care for. Most people, they are going to score a five for something they liked a whole lot, one for something they did not care for. But honestly, you can do it any way you want. If you'd rather just draw marks on the ones you like, well, that's going to work too. Any way you want to do it, because I am not going to collect it, all right? This is for your benefit. This is for you when you get out on the sales floor, because here's what's going to happen. You're going to leave this room when we're all done, and you're going to be on the sales floor, just like Disney World. You're going to step right into the gift shop, right? And you're going to get out there, and you are not going to remember what, we, what you liked, all right? The truth is, you're not even going to remember what we tasted. <laughs> you're not. You'll be staggering around out there. You won't have any idea. Anyway, take the card with you. The card's going to have all that information right here and it'll, everything we tasted and, and what you thought of it. All right, so please take that with you. And while we're talking about things for you to take with you, I just want to make this point. You see that book that's in front of you and everything else you're going to see in front of you today as we go through this tasting, I encourage you to take it all with you, except for the pretty blue bottle <laughs> and the dumb joke. You can't have these two things. These two things belong to me, but everything else you can have, take it with you. In fact, I encourage it because of a couple different things, What, especially the book, the catalog book. It's got all our almost all our products in it. It's got all of our contact information in it, phone numbers, email, uh, emails, and website address, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but the more important thing, the more stuff you take, the less stuff I got to clean up, all right? So I'm being selfish. I can't help it. Anyway, so uh, if you'll please remember that, and, and at the end, anything you do care to leave behind is greatly appreciated. So let's get going with this taste, and we'll see what you think about it, all right? We got the first thing we're going to taste is the Carlos. And, oh, yes, there is one rule about the wine tasting. I almost forgot. There's a rule about the wine tasting. It works. Uh, it, it comes into play if there's something I pour for you and it turns out you don't like it. 
If I pour you something that you don't like, two options. Option one, drink it anyway. <laughs> That's what most folks do. They just drink it anyway. Option number two. That's where that dump jug comes in. This dump jug right here, you're sitting there and you don't each have one of these, but you each have one you can reach. If you don't want to drink the wine, it can go right in the dump jug. That's what we call option number two. Option number three doesn't exist. There's no option three. No sharing the wine. You either drink it or you dump it. No sharing. All right? That's our only rule. That okay? Everybody got it? Yeah. Yeah. Is anybody ready to drink some wine? Yes. yes! Perfect. You guys are way more awake than the group last week. Uh, <laughs> the first group last week. <laughs> anyway, this is Carlos. Carlos is the driest white wine we're going to taste today. Not the driest one we make. The driest white wine we make is called Summertime Strut. It just came out in 2018. It is out at the patio if you'd like to taste that. It's way drier than this. It's a lot more like a Chardonnay. So if you really like drier white wines and Chardonnay kind of wines, that might be the one you want, you want to try. But this one is more like a Pinot Grigio. Now, I don't want you to get confused. It's not a Pinot Grigio. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's kind of sort of like a Pinot Grigio. It does have 1.5% sugar level in it. It's got 13% alcohol in it. And right there is the main reason why most folks Anyway, 13% um, alcohol. We've been making it since the very beginning. We started the winery in 1976. 1976. And at that time, we made three wines. We made a dry white, a dry red, and a sweet white. And all three of them are on our tasting sheet today. That we still make them, right? Now this wine right here, Carlos, I'm telling you, we're always going to make this wine, and I can be so sure about that because of one reason. See, the winery is owned by two brothers right now. Dave, this bar is named after Dave, and Jonathan, the bar next door is named after Jonathan, John's bar. Now, uh, this right here, this is Dave's favorite wine. <laughs> We are always going to make this wine. We're never going to stop. Always, always going to make it. We may not always sell it, but we will always, always make it. There we go. Give it a try. See what you think about this one. Very good. Excellent. What do you think of this? All right, all right. Now, with a group this size, the only way to really effectively get the information to me about how you feel about the wine is with a hand signal. A thumbs up if you like it, a thumbs down if you hate it. If you can't make up your mind, just do this, all right? So, what do you think of the Carlos? You like Carlos? Yes, yes, double thumbs up for her. Over there, not so much. Okay, yes, over this way. Mm, okay, perfect, excellent. So you like that pretty good, huh? Wasn't bad. That is a level of excellence we shoot for. It's not bad. Perfect. Where's everybody from? Where are you guys from? Uh, Southport. Yeah. Southport. Perfect. Illinois. Illinois. Virginia. Virginia. There you go. Wisconsin. Very Wisconsin. Too bad. Wisconsin. Perfect. When you get out to the satellite bar. Uh, the lady, the little lady there, we call her Nana Sue. She's gonna be working on the bar, on the bar today. She's from Wisconsin. Oh, okay. Myrtle Beach. All one syllable. We see how we say that. Okay. Very good. Perfect. North Carolina. North Carolina. Greensboro. Charlotte, North Carolina. Very um. Where in Illinois are you guys from? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I grew up in Lombard. Oh, did you? I'll tell you what. Since that first one got such an exciting and, and uh, <laughs> robust appreciation, uh, I'm going to switch up the order a little bit. We're going to do the other driving right now. <laughs> the number six wine on our list. It's all the way down the bottom in the right column. It's called Burgundy. It's the other dry one. We're getting the dry ones out of the way uh, at the beginning. Then we don't have to worry about it no more, all right? So we're going to do the other dry one. It's called Burgundy. And it's also an original wine, one of the original three wines that we started the winery with. This one, when I start pouring it, you're going to notice something right off the back of your sharp looking group, all right? You're going to notice it's not very dark. It's a very light colored red wine. 
And the reason it's so light colored has to do with muscadine grapes. You see, they have really thick, really tough skins. And that's because they grow in the southeast corner of the United States where it's hot and humid. Not, not this week, but usually <laughs> it's hot and humid. And uh, grapes hate that. They really do. And uh, the muscadine grapes thrive under those conditions. And part of the reason is because they have these really thick, tough skins protects the grape, does a great job of that. But what it doesn't do such a good job at is making pleasant tasting wine. You see, those thick tough skins make bitter wine. And we don't leave them in the juice very long because we don't want the wine to turn bitter. And as a result, the wine doesn't have a whole lot of color in it. It's pretty light colored wine. Now, most of you are probably familiar with or more familiar with things like Cabernet Sauvignon and Chamberson and Malbec and Merlot and Pinot Noir, all those dark red wines. They're also, they have something in them that people call tannins. You're all familiar with that, right? Tannins. Tannins is the part of the wine that gives it that acidy, bittery aftertaste. Well, our wines aren't going to have any of that. There's no tannins in our wines so that one because very dry. Our skins too. And the skins are only in the juice Focus. for four days or less when we take them out. So we're not going to get any tannins which is great news because tannin is what gives you what they call a red wine headache. You heard that expression before, right? Not going to be any red wine headache with our wines because there's no tannins in it. Now, just to be clear, okay, you can still get a headache, all right? It'd be what you call one that's too much wine headache. That's a whole different kind of thing. But this has got 1.5% sugar and 13% alcohol. We've been making it since 1976. When we started the winery in 1976, we made a total of 3,500 gallons of wine. 3,500 gallons of wine. We sold every bit of it. That is the primary reason we're still in the wine business, because we said, let's give it another year. And then we did, and then we did again, and then we did again. Now it's been 40 plus years since we've been in the wine business. And we now make just over 1.4 million gallons of wine a year. What you think of that? It was great! How about over here in the corner? What'd you think? Now, did you like the white one better? Right, I'm going to leave this right here, darling. Just in case that's the only one you like. And you, darling, I'm going to relocate this one right here. Just in case, all right? Perfect. All right, so that is it for the dry wines. From now on, it's all going to be sweet. And then sweeter. Everybody ready for that? Yes! yes. Excellent. So the first of the sweet ones is called Midnight Magnolia. Mm -hmm. It's the second one on your list. You're going back, we're going to go back in order now. So, uh, Carlos and then Midnight Magnolia. That'll be the next one, the blue bottle. That's where all the pretty blue bottles came from, right? So if you do like these blue bottles and like to have one, we do sell them uh, empty for $2 a bottle, okay? If you like to have one that's full, well, that comes full of wine. And, uh, in that case, we throw the bottle in extra, no extra charge. That's not the next right? Here we go. This is, uh, this is going to be way sweeter than what we just tried. This is 7.2% sugar. The last one was 1.5. But just to put it in perspective, it's going to be kind of like a sweet Riesling. So if you're familiar with a sweet Riesling, maybe from upstate New York, they do a lot of Rieslings up there. Um, this is going to be similar to that. Again, it's not a Riesling. It's uh, made with a muscadine grape called Magnolia. That's great. And we make three wines of that same grape. One of them is called Pink Magnolia. But we're going to taste that in a little bit. The third one is called Magnolia. So if nothing else, you know how to name a wine, right? Okay, there you go. Perfect. Anyway, this one's for you to try. Oh, anyway, um, this one's for you to try out. It's got 12% alcohol. That's not bad, right? 12% alcohol, 
Anyway, so it's a 12% alcohol. Like I said, it does have a mag uh, magnolia. Magnolia is a mushroom. Oh, and by the way, the other owner of the winery, Jonathan, this is his favorite wine. So guess what? We're always going to make it, too. Uh, yeah, perfect. Although he's the younger brother, so maybe the older brother will override. I don't know. Anyway, so, got this for you, got this for you. Perfect. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, so, so who's liking that? Who was thumbs up on that? Not so much over there. Yes? Perfect. Over here, over here, over there. How about my other corner, Brother DWD? It's okay. Again, the level of excellence we're shooting for. Tastes good, it's just too sweet. Tastes good, just too sweet. How about on the side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, perfect. Well, I'm going to take care of that being too sweet for you, darling. This next one is going to be a little sweeter. It's going to make that one taste like, you know, unsweet nice tea. This right here is called Scuppernon. Scuppernon. This is the original sweet wine that we started with. We've been making this one since 1976. Now Scuppernon is probably the most famous of all the different Muscadine grapes. Okay? There's over 70 different kinds of Muscadine grapes. We use about 10 of them in our processes, but there are over 70. Now, Scuppernon, I say it's the most famous because it grows pretty much wild in the whole southeast corner of the United States. Most people that grew up in the south have memories of eating those grapes when they were little kids. They ate them in the woods, they ate them in their grandmother's garden, and when they taste the wine, they say it tastes just like eating muscadine grapes in the woods, right? So uh, let's give us a try. Now, I do, I do want to point out that a lot of folks, for whatever reason, have trouble pronouncing this. I don't really get why. It's pretty simple. You just cover up the G, which is silent, and you just pronounce it as it's spelled, scup or non. It's really simple, but people get confused. I had somebody come out of a taste one day. I said, what was your favorite? They said, I like that scuffalon wine. That was really good. <laughs> Anyway, so give us a try. It is 10.2% sugar, 10.2, and 12% alcohol. So give us a try, see what you think. Like I said, we've been making this for a really long time, and uh, it is one of the favorites. So give us a try, see what you think. Very, very good. Perfect. 12% alcohol, 10.2. Okay. Here we go, darling. It's just too sweet. So if I can make it less sweet, you'd be happier, right? I can do that. I'm a fixer. I can fix that for you. Here's what I'm going to do. Have you ever been to the Napa Valley, dear? Yep. Ah, well, then you know that what I'm about to do for you, they will never, 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 never do this out there. They're not going to do this, okay? I am going to take some of that really sweet you just had, and I'm going to mix it with that really dry from the beginning. Yeah, give that a try. See if it's better. <laughs> That's it? That's good. All right. Let's do some economics, all right? This bottle of wine, the Carlos, $12.99 a bottle. This bottle of wine, the Scupper 9, $7.99 a bottle. So we got... $8 and $13, $21 tied up in two bottles of wine. That ain't happening in the Napa Valley. You're not even going to get one bottle of wine for $21, are you, dear? No. Not so much. Anyway, so that's, uh, I'll leave this over here in case we have to use it again. <laughs> All right, so that's our Scupper Non. Who was in favor of Scupper Non? Who liked that one? Yes, perfect. Next thing I got for you is something called white sangria. 
Several years ago, we created two sangrias, a white one and a red one. So this is the white one. This one is going to have added flavors of mangoes and peaches and lemons. The red one has got added flavors of mangoes and berries and strawberries. And from the very beginning, our customers thought it was a good idea to mix them together. They encouraged us to do that all the time. In fact, they demanded it. They wanted us to take the two bottles and pour them together into their glass like that. And they named that drink, that combined drink, they named it God Bless America. It became very popular. Those folks, that they, our customers, they, they encouraged us to do that all the time. In fact, they started demanding that we bottle it together. We said, no, sir, we're not doing that. Reason? We had to buy two bottles. And after all, this is a volume business, right? That's right. I understand that. Well, after they beat on us for about three years, we finally relented. We did. We did bottle it together. Last summer, we started bottling it together. And our Cracker Jack Marketing Department, they named that mixed wine. They called it Sangria Rose. Mostly because the millennials are drinking rose. We thought it would sell a whole bunch of wine. Anyway, um, well, I'll tell you what. All right, people, just like that, it's a wrap. That's it. That is it, people. That is it. You drank a lot of wine today. A lot, a lot of little sips. Um, that is it for that one. Um, hope y'all enjoyed it. Had to cut the video. Sorry, I had to cut the video short. But if I'd have kept recording, man, it'd have been like an over an hour video. So um, yeah, so come on up here to Duplin Winery. Um, and get you a drink. Have a couple sips. It's very affordable, man. I'm talking. Y'all know who that is. Push the button. Um, but yeah, come on out here and get y'all a couple sips. Like I said, it's very affordable. Ten dollars. Um, you know, you get a souvenir glass. You get um, a cup of cheese. I ain't too much care for that cheese dip. You know, kind of made my stomach. That cheese was delicious. Don't listen to him. That cheese was delicious. Oh, yeah, that's her balloon stuff. So. But yeah, the cheese is all right. It's all right. Um, so. With that said, man, we're finna head up out of here. We got a couple more places to head to. We're finna go check out. So don't forget, make sure y'all hit that airport right here near us too also. So yeah, don't forget y'all to hit that subscribe button, man. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, comment, like, subscribe. Also, share the video if you like. Um, with that said, I'm out. Peace.